Alabama has some good news, in fact, great news. Before we dive into the updates, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with all things Bama. Alabama has commitments that could be game changers and key highlights for the coming seasons, and honestly, we owe a lot of this to the team's tradition and Kalen DeBoer's strategy. Let's talk about these commitments, which bring fantastic news to this team, full of potential and strategic planning. The Alabama Crimson Tide's commitments for the 2025 class are poised to make decisive impacts and possibly see a significant jump in their recruiting rankings. This group of young athletes exemplifies the kind of talent and potential that Alabama's football program continues to attract, standing out in their respective positions and setting the stage for future contributions to one of the nation's most competitive programs. Keelan Russell is perhaps one of the most anticipated among these athletes. Playing at Duncanville, one of the most competitive divisions in high school football, Russell has the chance to solidify his status as a consensus five-star recruit. His performance this season could not only elevate him to the nation's number one quarterback for 2025 but also cement his position as a future leader of the Crimson Tide. Joined by players like five-star wide receiver DeCorian Moore, Russell has the tools to lead his team to another state championship. Anthony Rogers, another notable name, has an intriguing story of development and versatility. After a season sharing responsibilities at IMG Academy, Rogers returns to Carver High School in Montgomery, where he will be the primary running back. His ability to rack up impressive numbers both on the ground and in the air was already showcased in the spring, where he accumulated 128 yards on just two receptions. A strong senior season could place Rogers among the top five running backs in the country, highlighting his versatility and explosiveness. Lotsier Brooks from New Jersey brings an electrifying combination of speed and technical skill that makes him one of the most exciting players to watch. With a recorded speed of 22.1 miles per hour and a proven ability in the open field, Brooks is on track to become one of the best high school wide receivers in New Jersey, already holding the state record for career receiving yards and touchdowns. His knack for making spectacular plays and his effectiveness in running complex routes make him a strong candidate to see his three-star rating rise significantly by the end of the season. And Luke Metz from Mill Creek, Georgia, is emerging as a physical and instinctive linebacker. Metz demonstrates exceptional ability to diagnose plays and quickly get to the ball carrier, along with his competence in coverage, a crucial skill for modern linebackers. His current three-star rating seems temporary, given the potential he shows on the field. These players, each with their unique skills and potential, are not only looking to improve their recruiting rankings but also preparing for the demands and expectations that come with playing at the collegiate level, especially at a program as prominent as Alabama. With a strong senior season, these young athletes will not only bolster their reputations as future football stars but also lay the groundwork for significant contributions to the tide in the coming years. And let's keep moving forward. LT Overton's arrival at Alabama Crimson Tide isn't just a change of scenery for the young athlete, it's a complete transformation both physically and strategically in his college football career. Transferred from Texas A&M, Overton is experiencing a revitalization in his approach to the game, adapting to a role that maximizes his natural abilities and reinforces Alabama's defensive aspirations under the leadership of defensive coordinator Kane Womack. At Texas A&M, Overton played as a defensive end, a position that demanded a combination of agility and speed, leading him to shed weight to fit the team's style of play. However, this setup didn't fully tap into Overton's potential, as he sees himself as more effective as a down lineman, a role he performs with a combination of power and explosiveness. This role adjustment is emblematic of Womack's approach, which favors versatility and adaptability within his defense. Now at Bama, Overton has undergone an impressive physical transformation, regaining weight and building strength to operate in a variety of positions along the defensive front. The added weight not only prepares Overton for the physical demands of more interior defensive techniques but also enhances his effectiveness in run defense and quarterback pressure, where his pass rushing ability is particularly valued. Womack praises Overton's ability to execute pass rush efficiently 
highlighting his quick read and react capability against offensive movements. This skill, combined with his versatility, makes him a crucial defensive asset for Alabama, especially in the dynamic bandit position, which requires both ruggedness and tactical flexibility. Beyond technical qualities, Overton brings a spirit of leadership and a strong work ethic, as highlighted by defensive line coach Freddie Roach. Roach, who has followed Overton since high school and continued to play a crucial role in his transition to Alabama, emphasizes Overton's positive impact not only on the field but also on team morale and dynamics. Overton's decision to join Alabama was heavily influenced by Roach's presence, reflecting the importance of trusted relationships and consistent guidance in athlete development. This guy has the potential to contribute significantly to Bama. If you have an opinion, comment at the end of the video. The Alabama Crimson Tide enters a new era under the leadership of head coach Kalen DeBoer, facing the immense challenge of maintaining the team's dominant status in the SEC. While much attention is focused on Jalen Milrow and his abilities as a quarterback, it's Justice Haynes who emerges as the critical X-factor for Alabama in 2024. Justice Haynes, as a running back, embodies the physical and punishing style of play that has become synonymous with Alabama football. The philosophy of physically dominating opponents and controlling the clock is a legacy from Saban that DeBoer seems determined to continue. Haynes' ability to run the ball aggressively and consistently promises to be a vital tool for the Tide as they look to maintain their supremacy in the SEC, especially against rising rivals like the Georgia Bulldogs. During his time at Washington, DeBoer showed a strong preference for a balanced running game, even while having one of the most prolific quarterbacks in the country. This balance helped Dylan Johnson achieve a 1,000-yard season, illustrating DeBoer's ability to effectively integrate the running game into the overall offensive scheme, even with a strong passing attack. Justice Haynes isn't just a talented running back, he's a crucial strategic element in DeBoer's game plan. His ability to set the pace, or down opposing defenses, and allow Alabama to control the clock and limit the opponent's possessions is essential. He provides the Tide with the opportunity to maintain their offensive identity of being the most physical team on the field, a trait that was fundamental to success under Saban and will be equally important under DeBoer. With new leadership facing the pressure of rivals like Georgia, Haynes' presence as the X-Factor could be the difference maker that allows the Tide to continue their tradition of success. His performance will not only determine the effectiveness of the ground game but will also directly influence the team's offensive balance and their ability to execute their strategy in crucial games. There are some great guys on this team, and we're going to see Bama make a difference with this excellent squad. What has Kalen DeBoer been saying? Let's take a look. With great optimism both on and off the field. In his recent appearance on the Gojo and Golic show, DeBoer shared encouraging updates on the players' development. One of the highlights of the discussion was the immediate impact of freshman wide receiver Ryan Williams. Even though he was reclassified from the 2025 class, Williams has shown exceptional maturity and dynamism on the field, alternating between the inevitable learning moments typical of a freshman and flashes of brilliance that have even left a seasoned coach like DeBoer impressed. Williams' presence is a promising sign for the Tide's receiving core, which also features established talents like Kendrick Law, Kobe Prentice, Emmanuel Henderson, and the new addition Jeremy Bernard, who has quickly established himself as a key player. Williams is going to make a difference. DeBoer also praised the work of wide receivers coach Jamarcus Shepard, whose teaching strategy is enabling the players to understand and execute a wider range of offensive concepts. This deeper understanding is preparing the receivers to be versatile and adaptable, traits that are highly valued in an offense that promises to be multifaceted and dynamic. Regarding quarterback Jalen Milrow, DeBoer noted continuous improvement in his execution and understanding of the game. Milrow, known for his work ethic and dedication, is deepening his grasp of offensive strategies and asking questions that reflect a higher level of engagement and curiosity about the system. On the offensive line, consistency has been key, with Tyler Booker, Parker Brailsford, and Jaden Roberts providing a solid foundation on the interior, while competition continues at the tackle positions.
The cohesion and competitive spirit of this unit are crucial to the success of the Tide's offensive game. Defensively, De Boer is excited about what he's seeing, highlighting the smooth transition to defensive coordinator Kane Womack's scheme. Players like Malachi Moore, Kean Saab, and cornerback Damani Jackson are showing great promise, with De Boer expressing particular confidence in the freshmen who are growing day by day. On the defensive line, Deontay Lawson, Tim Smith, Tim Keenan, LT Overton, and Ja Marion Latham are standing out, with their skills in both pass rushing and run defense preparing them to be impactful in the upcoming season. A special shout out to Kean Saab, who came from Michigan and is going to make a difference here. These updates from DeBoer are important and show that the coach has the support of his coaching staff as well as the players. What's your take? Comment below.